530 school bus technology that's showing signs of getting your kids to school faster. So it allows buses to change traffic lights to green as they approach the signal to reduce the overall time on the roadway. Fulton County Schools, they tested out that new technology on two of its buses. Joe Ripley has the results. Among this sea of more than 900 buses belonging to the Fulton County School District, two stand out for their technology. This is it. It comes down to a box and wires. Three different radios help power the school bus priority connected vehicle student safety program. Applied information based in Alpharetta developed this technology. Through it, bus drivers can request a green light as they approach a traffic signal, as company president Brian Mulligan explains. Stopping and starting in the traffic delays the traffic more than just getting green lights because all the other traffic is not in some delay. It's just resequent. Trey Stowe, Fulton County Schools Transportation Operations Director, says the district started the year down 125 bus drivers. He sees this new technology so far installed in two buses as an answer to a nationwide bus driver shortage. We hit probably one of the worst driver shortages that I think any of us in this industry has experienced. So we had to get really creative really fast in order to be able to get our students to and from school. Engineering consultants over at Kimley Horn did analysis on the buses before using the technology and after between April and May of this year. They saw a reduction of 13 percent in overall travel time using the tech. Unscheduled stops were down over 40 percent. The average speed of the buses went up about 18 percent, while the buses used less gas and operations costs went down about 10 percent. They were able to leave their origin later and then arrive at their destination earlier which meant that those bus drivers had additional time to relax, recuperate in between uh, their different bus runs for each of the schools. Coming up at 6, we'll take a look at the impact on the students riding these buses, which is seeing steady growth this school year. In Alpharetta, Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News.